I'm Nachola the Drawer, an artist and adventurer from the UK. Let's get creative! Buongiorno ragazzi! Today I am in Italy! Yes, Italy! So I am going to be doing some urban sketching today. I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to go for a little explore and have a draw. So I've got my sketchbook along with me, some watercolour pencils, and we're going to go for a little wonder and then see what we see what we are inspired by. So I'm here in Seano, which is on the Sorrentine Peninsula, and behind me you can see Mount Vesuvius, yeah, the Bay of Naples. A place that inspired thousands of writers, creatives, artists, and so let's see what inspires us today. The thing with urban sketching is you don't have to be perfect, it's a sketch, it's quick, it's trying to capture what you see with your eye and what draws attention to you. So let's see what that is today. The bench positioned perfectly opposite the hillside, so I'm going to sit here, get out my sketchbook and start sketching what's in front of me. This sketchbook is just a simple, small sketchbook and it has in a previous piece from Florence. I've got with me my see-through pencil case, that means I can see everything inside that I want to grab. So all those different colours, I've got watercolour pencils, I have water paintbrush pens which are perfect to work with the watercolour pencils. I'm just going for it with the colour. I've picked a colour that I want to represent what's in front of me and I'm just sketching out the shapes and then from there I use the watercolour paintbrushes to blend all the colour so it's a beautiful bright green on the base colours and then I can add everything on top. When I first sat down I scanned the skyline and saw what popped out to me. This church with the dome really got my attention, the different colours, the different shape, and then along the rest of the horizon, all the different buildings that kind of all had different patchwork of colour. So that's what I want to represent in this quick little sketch. I'm using a limited colour palette, so just certain colours of pens, and here's the finished piece. <laughs> So that was just a quick little sketching session for me is all about colours and shapes so I've just highlighted all of the different colours and shapes that I wanted to pick out from the scenery that I can see behind me. I hope you ha liked having a little sketch along with me in this beautiful place and I'm gonna have a little bit more of a wander around and see what catches my eye and I'll stop have a little sketch or take some photos and then sketch when I'm at home later. around and I found a couple of cool things that I wanted to have a little sketch of but there wasn't anywhere to sit because it was outside of a church and I didn't want to be sitting on the steps of the church so I come found a little spot here and I'm gonna have a little sketch from the photo that I took from my phone but I'm not wanting exacts anyway but I really want the impact of the shapes and what I saw so let's have a little sketch I'm here on this beautiful table. So this is this is the Amalfi tile style. So how pretty is that? Real lemons right in front of me. This area is famous for its lemons. So if you come here, you have to try limoncello. Eat a lemon itself too. Let's start a new page of the sketchbook. I'm going to use a pencil first just to sketch out the shapes that I want to show in this picture. 
this is just going to be a guideline for my colour. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet, but I'm just going for it. Like with sitting in situation of the place, I'm just going to see what it is in front of me and go for it. I've gone for crayons with this one, old school, like a child, to get that beautiful kind of etchy little shapes of all the different cobbles and got a nice bright combo, green and purple. You can see how easy it is with the watercolour brushes here, no need for paint, look at that beautiful painterly look, but just with pencils. Finishing touches and it's all done. So this is my finished sketch of the area outside of the church in the Piazza Seano. Bright, colourful. This caught my eye because on the floor outside the church was all the cobblestones and they created this star shape and I loved the pattern of each of the cobblestones but then the contrast of the colours of the black and white but of course mine's more colourful because see the world's in Technicolor. And then parked on the star was a Fiat 500. A Fiat 500 is the perfect car for around here because some of the streets are so small here that you have to put your wing mirrors in to get down the street and it's a two-way street so if someone else is coming you got to reverse back so if I was driving around here this is what I would have one of the original Cinquecento cars so I love that that was on the star so I hope you like it Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Is there somewhere that around this area of Italy you'd love me to go sketch, explore and draw and take you with me? Uh, let me know if you go out exploring and drawing yourself. Go explore, draw, see the world in a magical way and share it with others. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you for the next creative adventure. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for weekly videos.